an eruption. A fine way to start the new year. The damned volcano erupted and destroyed every single thing near it. About half of my beetles failed to escape, so they died, all buried under debris, dust, lava, rocks, and all the other things volcanoes spit out. I figured volcanoes, especially those that still pumped out lava, would be somewhat dangerous. But I forgot about the risk, as I didn't see any major eruption. I was lulled into complacency, and thought it was one of those stable volcanoes. That said, I wondered why my roots didn't sense the seismic movements. I recalled, back on Earth, Volcanoes generated tremors or minor quakes before they eventually erupted. Did the magic in this world mess with such processes? Oh well, this was just a minor setback. A bit of delay to my volcano expansion plans. If life went too easy, I'd probably think something bad was going to happen. That probably pushed my plans back by a couple of months to let the volcano's environment settle also for me to rebuild my forces before attempting another assault on the magma golems that spawned closer to the now partly exposed caldera. I was eager to test out the new large beetles in combat, since these creatures were larger, with bigger legs and horns. I really wanted to see how they performed against those golems. But I had to wait. So I turned my attention to the next few things I had in mind. In New Frica, we had a massive hall with a few external biolamps, and Jura helped to guide the Valtrian soldiers. The hall itself was filled with animals and plants gathered from the region over the last month. The men were mostly idle, so we sent them out on gathering missions to collect different kinds of plants and animals, as many as they could find, whatever they'd not seen before or whatever they noticed that was different from New Frica, then bring it back. With this small bounty, I went through all the plants and animals they'd brought back. The soldiers, with Jura's supervision, loaded the biolamps, five of them located side by side, with specimens. After the biological analysis, some soldiers were tasked with moving our collection to designated patches of unused lands, where another group with farming or planting skills would attempt to replant these specimens.